So, you want to become a chemical engineer? Congratulations! A rewarding career awaits you. One of the most important skills you'll learn in your first chemical engineering courses is how to solve material and energy balance problems. I still have my book from my Chemical Engineering 201 class. Here it is, beaten up. I graduated 25 years ago and I still use this book. And I still use the fundamentals of mass balance and energy balance every day in my job. And so learning these concepts is going to be a great way for you to make yourself unique when you enter into the world of industry. Hope you have a good time. A great way to learn this problem solving skill is not only to practice solving lots of problems, but also to review and discuss your peers' solutions under the guidance of an expert. Based on the feedback you receive in these reviews, you can then resubmit an improved solution for a grade. This iterative process of solution refinement based on critical reviews is the hallmark of studio-based learning, a style of education commonly found in architecture and fine arts. Through the studio-based learning process, you will not only gain valuable skills in carefully reviewing and talking about chemical engineering problem solutions, you'll also get valuable feedback on how to improve your own solutions. But how can there be enough class time to review and discuss peers' problem solutions? Isn't your chemical engineering course already packed full of exciting classroom activities, such as lectures, quizzes, and exams? Don't dismay! ChemPro V and Osbo will help you learn chemical engineering in a whole new way. ChemPro V is an online environment for constructing and reviewing solutions to the kinds of material and energy balance problems you'll be learning about in your chemical engineering class. Osbol is an online course management environment that allows you to submit your ChemPro V solutions online and to engage in online discussions about those problem solutions. Together, ChemPro V and Osbol will enable you to engage in studio based learning completely online, anytime, anywhere. This video will introduce you to a new way of learning chemical engineering through the online studio. It all starts with material or energy balance problem to be solved. In your chemical engineering class this semester, your course instructor will post problems like this in Osbol. You'll be required to solve these problems using the ChemPro V software and to submit your solutions through Osbol so that they can be reviewed online by small groups of peers. To access the ChemPro V software, go to the ChemPro V homepage and click on the Run ChemPro V link. In ChemPro V, you can easily create solutions to material and energy balance problems. These solutions consist of both a process flow diagram and a set of balance equations that can be solved for the unknowns in the problem. To create process flow diagrams in ChemPro V, just drag and drop process units from the left-hand palette. Then add chemical streams and specify their details. You can use the equations editor to type in a set of equations to solve the problem. To complete your solution, perform a degree of freedom analysis, if required, in the DF Analysis pane. Finally, submit your solution to Osbol so that a team of your peers can critically review it. To do this, use the Osbol button to log in to Osbol. And then click the Save button to save your solution in an Osbol assignment. In the next phase of the process, a review team consisting of a few of your classmates will review your solution. To make this possible, your instructor will create a review assignment through Osbol. To access the assignment and see which solutions you have been assigned to review, click on the Open File icon in ChemPro V, choose Open from the Osbol assignment, and locate the critical review assignment in the dialog box. Finally, click on an Author's Solution file to open the solution in ChemPro V for reviewing. ChemPro V allows you to annotate the solution with comments. As you review a solution and insert your comments into the solution, consider these questions. Are all of the processing units in the process flow diagram needed? Are all of the streams properly connected? Has all the information provided in the problem statement been accounted for in the solution? Are the units consistent? 
Are all of the terms in each balance related to only one compound or element? Are all of the equations independent? All review comments on a student solution are merged into a single ChemPro-V solution, which is the focus of the next step of the studio-based learning process. In this step, each review team, led by a moderator who is a chemical engineering expert, engages in an online discussion of their merged comments. To make this possible, your instructor will create a review discussion assignment in OSPEL. To access it, click on the Open File icon in ChemPro-V, choose Open from the OSBL assignment, and locate the Critical Review Discussion assignment in the dialog box. This assignment links to an online discussion area at osbel.org, where you can access the merged review document and participate in an online discussion about the reviews. Much like a face-to-face -face discussion you might have with your peers and instructor, the purpose of the online discussion is to perform a meta-review of the reviews in order to consider areas of agreement and disagreement, as well as to identify issues that might have been missed. To get the discussion going, reviewers are required to independently write an initial post that summarizes areas of agreement and disagreement and identifies issues that may have been missed. Once a reviewer makes an initial summary post, the reviewer can see and respond to others' posts. The discussion moderator, an instructor, TA, upper division chemical engineering student, or a chemical engineering professional, will keep the discussion on track, prompting students for input when necessary. Because this discussion takes place online, reviewers can participate in it anytime and anywhere. However, please keep comments constructive and civil. Personal attacks and nitpicky comments aren't helpful. The moderator will be on the lookout for these. When discussing reviews, be a good listener. Carefully consider your peers' comments, but agree to disagree if necessary. A good strategy is to put yourself in the shoes of the solution author. You'd want feedback on the things you did right and suggestions on how to improve your solution. You wouldn't want personal attacks or petty critiques. Remember that solution authors may be asked to revise their solutions and resubmit them based on this feedback. Anything you can do to help them improve their work will be most appreciated. Material and energy balance problems are central to chemical engineering. In this video, we have presented an overview of how to use two software tools, ChemPro-V and OSBL, to create problem solutions and to participate in online reviews and discussions of those solutions. We hope that using these tools as part of the online studio makes the learning process more fun and effective.